welcome back to our channel. Today, since you guys loved my cold process soap, I'm going to show you another one of my absolute favorites. This is by far the best seller in my shop, and that is the Whipped Aloe Body Butter. So this recipe makes between four and five four ounce jars. So these are the jars that I put it in and I'm actually running low, if you'll see. If this goes to show you how much I love this product. Since this is something that you could possibly wear every day, we don't want it to be too perfumey. We also don't want it to be super colorful because if you use too much mica, it can stain your skin. So it has just the perfect hint of mint green and like I said before, this is my absolute favorite. So if you've tried my whipped aloe body butter, I know some people that have watched this channel have, drop a comment and tell everyone how great it is. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is measure out my mango butter. Mango butter is a very hard butter. You can kind of see it's kind of chunky and I find it easier if I just measure out the amount of mango butter that I need, put it in my bowl over a double broiler and just melt it and then let it cool and then I add my aloe butter to it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure out three ounces. I just made a makeshift double broiler. I'm just gonna go ahead and melt that mango butter and then we'll measure out the rest of the ingredients. So when your mango butter is melted from your double broiler, you can put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes or throw it in the freezer check it every five minutes or so. You don't want it to be frozen solid. You still wanna be able to whip it with your aloe butter. And while that is in the freezer, I'm taking my aloe butter and we need 12 ounces of aloe butter. You will see this is a lot softer of a butter than the mango butter. I feel like I'm scooping ice cream out. <laughs> so I am a couple ounces shy but I still have a lot left in there. So I'm gonna take my spatula and see if I can't get another two ounces. So I cleaned it out pretty good, but we are still about a half an ounce short. It's fine, it will be fine. So I just had Molly check on my mango butter and it's still a little soft. So you have your 12 ounces of aloe butter and while you're waiting, you can go ahead and add everything else. Next, you're gonna wanna add 0.5 of this squalene oil. If you don't have it, it is fine. This is just to help it absorb better in your skin. I've made it with this, I've made it without this, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in 0.5 and you can go ahead and add your mica. You just want an eighth of a teaspoon, small scoop. And then to give it a little sparkle, I am gonna give it just a scoop of the Snowflake Sparkle Mica. And the micas are completely optional. You do not have to use those. You wanna just go ahead and give it a gentle stir just to get that mica mixed in a little bit because when you stick your mixer in there, you don't want mica to go all over your kitchen. So now that you have your micas mixed in, I'm gonna check on my mango butter and see how it's looking. So if you saw how my finger went in, and it's still soft, but it's also firm, that means it is done. So I went ahead and just stirred up our mango butter, just so it's nice and soft. And then I'm gonna just put my other oils right in and if you don't want to dirty another bowl you don't have to do them separately so after your butters 
are combined and all your ingredients are combined, go ahead and add 5 ml of your favorite fragrance oil. And just give it a gentle mix with your spoon or your spatula. And then we're gonna let the mixer do the work for us. And I don't have anything special. It is just a Black & Decker mixer that I picked up for 10 bucks. And I strictly use it for my body products. So let's get the mix in and watch it all come together. So you'll see that is looking awesome. This also is an optional step. I'm just gonna take a teaspoon of arrowroot powder and mix it in at this point. And the same thing, just go ahead and give it a mix. And if you want to scrape down the sides at this point, that would be the perfect time to do so. So you might be asking what exactly is arrowroot powder and why would we add it to our body butter? So arrowroot is actually an all natural, kind of like a silky white powder produced by grinding up the dried rhizomes of the tropical arrowroot plant. It is used to kind of absorb some of that oiliness. That way your body butter does not feel so oily on your skin. Look how beautiful it looks. I went ahead and got my jars ready, took all of the lids off. We're not fancy over here. So I'm using a Ziploc bag. I cut the corner, threw a piping tip in there, and I'm gonna put it in the cup so we can fill up our jars. Look how, does that not look like cake frosting? <laughs> Do not eat it. No matter how good it smells or looks. Do not eat it. And then you're just gonna push it into your cup and we are going to get every last drop of that glorious body butter. And if you're thinking to yourself, Chrissy, this looks like too much work. Ain't no way in hell I'm making body butter, but I wanna try it. <laughs> Go ahead, you can buy it from me. I will link my Square store right in the description below. And you can check out all of my soaps and the soaps from my cold process video should be available in about a week and a half. They're still sitting in my cabinet curing. So go ahead and pull your bag out. Listen, I am no cake decorator, okay? <laughs> There's probably easier ways to do this, but all right, let's fill our jars. There are our jars. How beautiful do they look? What you want to do is put the lid on, store in a cool, dry place and enjoy. I don't think you'll have to worry about this going bad because like I said, once you try it, it's not gonna be around for a while. And this last one kind of got a little messy, so I will go ahead and use this one for myself. But if you'll see, I mean, this is just, I know I keep saying it's my favorite, but it is so wonderful. So I hope watching me make this body butter gave you the confidence to try to make your own body butter. Once you do, you will be hooked. And if you don't, go check out my store. I have a lot of fun soaps that I'm adding to a couple times a month. So go check out my store. And if you don't wanna make this yourself, go ahead and buy some from me. This could be your jar. All right, well, thanks for checking out this video and we'll see you on the next one.